how you could build the business of your dreams that make a huge impact and actually be paid like so much magical money that you can do amazing things with in the world because that's what we're going to talk about today. Give us the word, remind me if you want the show notes, if you want access to all this goodness and put your hands together. I want to see all of the little likes and the hearts flying across the screen. I want to see the biggest fireworks show you have ever given because today just might be my most favorite show that we ever do on the planet because one of my most favorite humans here is here and he has built an eight figure business doing things that he loves and I'm talking like ricotta I'm talking like ribbons and wreaths and rescue dogs his name is Damon and he's coming to the screen Whoa! Hey, <laughs> I jumped out of the screen. that was that was so much more animated than I ever <laughs> which is part of my reason that I'm so excited about Absolutely. this. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to dive in to all of yeah. these things. And you said I can ask you anything I want. There's nothing off, off top. Like, nothing oh. off topic. No. Okay. Should we, should we do our little, um, our little pre-show intro that Restream lets us do? Do you want to see it? Yeah. It's kind of fun it. and cute. Okay. Damon, get ready for a dance party. If you're watching in the chat, drop the word dance party, whether you're watching live or in the replay, because here comes a dance party. Uh oh. I mean, are you so energized? I am. I have like ready. To, like I have the whole thing pulled up over here. I'm like, how do I sign up for Restream? <laughs> we just started using it not that long ago after Vid Summit. I met with Grace and the team over there, and I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta play with this. So now we got all the dance parties here. We can also do this. We can bring the chat overlay into the stream, which is really fun. So we got so much goodness to cover. If you have questions as we're jumping into all of this, just drop a cue in front of what you write, and that will allow us to be able to find the questions, which is super cool. We'll come back to those. And um, Damon, do you know about our nugget giveaways? I don't. Oh my what gosh. Are, are you excited? So I use, how yeah. about, I'm going to give away one of these. You want to see? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> I can give away something too. Okay. What do you want to give away? We didn't even talk um, about it. I know. What about how many things are we giving away? Um, usually just one or two, but what do you think? Okay, I can do two can tumblers do too. You what? I can do two tumblers. Oh, amazing. Do you have your tumblers on you? What are they? I don't. I can get well, someone hey. to bring me a tumbler. Hey, well, let's do a tumbler and we'll do two tumblers, a dancing messenger bot. And while we're at it, let's give away this. Have, whoa, I just dropped something out of it. Have you seen this yet? Uh, I did see it. It's our children's book, which is so fun. <laughs> and it's all of our strategies to help you be more confident, but put into a children's book. So we'll give away one of those too. Yeah. All of the giveaways. I'm so stoked. Awesome. That's so good. Cool. Okay. So um, the way that you enter the giveaway is as we're going through this today. So today, Damon is going to be sharing five steps to building an eight figure business, doing what you love. And if you would like to know how to do that, it's a good thing that you're here. And the way that you enter this giveaway is you drop the hashtag nugget. So like hashtag nugget and then share whatever the tip was that you learned. So if you've already learned something just by watching what we've been doing here with our dance parties, like hashtag nugget, dance parties are awesome. That could be your first nugget. And then that keeps the conversation going throughout the video without having to stop and be like, hey, drop the word ricotta in the chat. Everyone's talking about Ruth. He's our, he's our but, warehouse dog. Well, but he's there. There he is. Let's check. Okay, let's see. We need to give him full screen. He's exhausted. He chased the ball twice. He's out. I have a I have a rescue dog too. Her name's Esther. I should get her to come up here. Sometimes she does. She just gets very excited. <laughs> Which is, is so fun. You got a hundred messages already. Uh, um, it's so fun. It's given us rewards. I love it. That's it's funny. in. The, is that happening in the chat? I don't even see that. It is. I see. Oh maybe it's maybe because it's my first time doing it. Maybe we need all the rewards. We like rewards. We like to be rewarded. Yeah. It's so it fun. says I've received a hundred messages today with restream chat, and it's like a little cup. Ah, how nice! 
nice. I love it. It's so cool and fun. Well, it's just awesome. So we're going to go through these five things today. Um, I'm also going to dig in. I want to thank you so much because a couple of weeks ago, we had a video hit. As of today, it's at 39 million. That's when you so and I, crazy. It's like actually bananas. I am so excited about it. I've had to call on my banana phone. Do you know about my banana phone? I do. Okay. The banana phone is very, um, very important. So today I'm going to call into the banana phone and say that I'm really hoping that Damon, not hoping, I'm going to count on the fact that Damon is going to share strategies that is going to help us to be able to get at least five more million view videos. Does that sound good? I, hey, I want it. Okay. I'm calling them in for Damon also. <laughs> so when our, when our video had hit 7 million, I was doing a video playing the piano because I needed to stop like the adrenaline rush that was taking over my life from watching these numbers. And you popped on and we initially met for the first time at the mini chat conference, right? Right. You were wearing those spiked pants. <laughs> I was. I was wearing the pants, the most awesome pants in the universe. I may have them. Sometimes I have a photo of them on here. Oh, I don't. I could bring them in, but I have these pants. They're um, Panticipation. Is, I bought Panticipation.com because of those pants. Okay. I, I'm launching a podcast about them. But I was wearing very sparkly pants. And today, look at what I'm wearing today. Did you see my pants when I stood I up saw. earlier? <laughs> I happen to be wearing banana pants. Just like, and no shoes. <laughs> Um, all right. So <laughs> we met back at the mini chat conference. And while I was doing this video talking about how we were at 7 million, you popped a comment in the chat and you were like, yeah, no big deal. It happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, but we've never had one go to 39 million. So you have me beat. Okay. And one little thing, but can you just tell us a little, because that's what got us started on this, this part of our friendship and conversation <laughs> was that you've actually had some great success with reels. So I'd love you to share a little bit about that, but also because I know we have some people here who know you super well, some people who have ne maybe never met you before. I'd love you just to give a little history of how you got started and what you're doing now, because yeah. it's just so inspirational and I just, I love it so, so, so much. So if you could do that, I would love it. Yeah. So let me give a little bit of background story first. So background, uh, chemical engineer, I worked for Shell and Motiva, all the big companies. Uh, I started making wreaths on the side as a way to just relieve some of the stress from the day job. Mm. I made my first wreath, hung it on the front door. A neighbor pulled into my driveway and asked where they bought, where, where they could buy it. And I was like, you can't buy it. I just made it. <laughs> like literally just hung it on the door. And they were like, well, my wife wants it. Here's $100. And I was like, here's the wreath. And I handed it like through you the took door. It off the, your door. Yeah, I took it off the door and handed it through the window. So and good. we were like huge in rescue at the time. And we were writing like personal checks of about $500 to animal rescue every single month. And I thought, wait a minute, what if I take that $500 and invest in supplies to make wreaths and I could turn that $500 into $1,000 or $1,500 and then I could donate that every month. Oh my gosh. I have goosebumps everywhere. I did not know this part of the story. So I'm excited. Yeah. To learn more too. So that's how we got started. And then it just escalated quickly from there. So we started doing craft shows and we were doing anywhere between 900 to 1200 wreaths a year. And then Facebook wait, can we just, became a thing. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, cause, and I know like in your community, there's, you're teaching so many people how to build crafting businesses. You're, you know, how to build businesses based on their passion, all that kind of stuff. And one of my biggest, like what questions about all the magic that you're doing is like, how many did you do the first year? What did you say? Uh, the first year we did 850 wreaths. Okay. Which is a and lot of wreaths a to lot. ship out or to deliver. I don't, do you know yeah. that I used to have a crafting business? Have we talked about this? Uh, was it crocheting? No. Was it crocheting was felt. and handmade, handmade felt. felt. Yeah. I love like fiber yeah. arts. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot. Like people don't it's realize how much time goes into actually making it and then even shipping it. Like you've got to get specific with all that too. So just even in the first year doing that much is just amazing. And then on top of that, I was working, you know, 10 hours a day and we had one hour commute both ways. Oh my gosh. So if you're complaining <laughs> so it about was time. Literally, literally <laughs> every night and every weekend was dedicated to the oh business. Uh, so that's like one of the main things that I tell people is whenever you're doing something like this, if you don't have a passion behind it, it's going to make it real hard to put that many hours into it, right? So our passion was helping little guys like this. 
<laughs> there right? he is. <laughs> so it wasn't hard for me to spend two or three hours after work, you know, doing something that I knew was going to benefit something that I cared about. So cool. And, you know, that even on its own is a really sometimes difficult thing for people to figure out, like, what is it they're passionate about? What do they want to give their attention to? Like, what would they do? So, I mean, in, in some cases, you're lucky that you knew exactly like what it was. Yeah. And if people are struggling figuring out what that is, do you have tips for that? I know we're kind of jumping into. Yeah. Yeah. Um... That one's hard because it's so personal to every single person, right? Because yeah. that thing that could be so passionate is just your ability to spend time with your kids. Yeah, that it doesn't have to be a foundation. It doesn't have to be it, something yeah. else. It can be personal. It can be selfish if you want to call it selfish. It can be any of those things just yeah. as long as you really care about it. So really, it's like finding your why, right? Finding, finding the thing your why, drive you. absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. I mean, so some people okay. have to do that to feed their kids and that's plenty enough why, right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So making sure that you're connected to that. So, so important. Okay. So you had that thing and then how did this scale to the magic that it is now? It actually uh, scaled on accident. Okay. So uh, I, you know, Facebook lives were a thing. All these people were telling me that I should just go live and show what I'm doing. Well, before I went live and showed what I did, my Facebook page was around 600 people. Okay. But it was 600 buying customers. Hmm. So every time I posted on my Facebook page, I sold a wreath and people were asking for a copy of that wreath. I love so that I because a lot of people will say things like, oh, I only have 600 likes. And I'm like, 600 is a lot of people. Especially if it's the right people, right? Yeah. So then what happened was I started going live and that's whenever Facebook lives were super new. Mm -hmm. so, so 2016. Yeah. If you went live during that period, all of a sudden you had 10,000 new followers. Yep. So all of a sudden I had all these new followers who were asking me questions like, well, how do you sell that many? How do you make that many? Where do you get your supplies? And less questions of where can I buy that wreath? Yeah. So that told us that we needed to shift to a different customer base. Okay. So I just want to, I know you're sharing the backstory, but I think there's so many golden, amazing nuggets in this. So many, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many golden bananas in here. <laughs> like the, um, it's really list, like it's paying attention to the feedback that you're getting and listening to the questions that people are asking. Right. Right. And you were smart enough to be able to like pay attention to that rather than what I think a lot of people do is they focus solely on what they want to offer, what they want to put out there. But you were following the opportunity, which is such a big it's it is honestly, in some ways, it can be an egoless thing to do because our egos sometimes are like, no, I'm going to sell reads. I'm not going to teach other people how to do it. But paying attention to what people want. Good move. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So, it. so in that right there, um, first we tried affiliates, right? So I went, I was just posting product affiliates to see if my people okay. would really buy the product. And so and that's then I was easy, awesome selling out, test. I was selling out other stores product. <laughs> okay. like I would literally get, did you go live today? Cause all of a sudden we don't have any more of X, Y, Z. I'm like, Oh yeah, you're welcome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love just like nonchalant it is also it's like so unassuming and like it's so good okay so awesome. then once I figured that out um people were asking for more details like you know okay now we have this stuff we don't know what to do with it can you put a kit together and I was like I'm okay. never doing that <laughs> it's too much work we're not doing it you know affiliates are fun so, you know, Parker goes to sleep one night and, and was he doing this business with you the whole time. He was still working full time at that point, okay. but he went to sleep and he woke up and I was like, Hey, I made a post on Facebook and I sold 900 kits. <laughs> okay. And he's like, uh, <laughs> after we just had a whole conversation of him thinking that was a good idea. And I'm like destroying it. Cause you know, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> This is like the next tip is to ask for forgiveness, not permission. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's also important to like listen to the advice of other people because sometimes they see an, uh, an opportunity that you're missing. 
Yes. Oh, totally. Okay. So you sold 900 kits, which you did not have, which we also talk a lot about selling it first. You know, we'll Absolutely. do that. Even if you're selling a digital product, not a physical product like this, it's almost even easier because we'll do a post that says like, Hey, I'm thinking of doing this. Would you like access to it? And then it'll blow up in a good way. And then you have to actually create it. But now you have the reason to create it. Your why has just expanded, which is awesome. Yeah, and I, I didn't have any visualization of what that was gonna look like in my head. Yeah. I was like, oh, we'll just do it in the garage. <laughs> just the pallets of the empty box, like the flat empty boxes for 900 filled up our garage. Oh my gosh. Okay. I was like, oops, I got a problem. <laughs> Y'all figure it out. <laughs> Do you know what your Colby score is? No. Okay. So this is, I told you beforehand, we were just talking about shipping things because we're sponsoring social media marketing world. And we've planned out this whole amazing booth with like plants. And I, that's partly why my office is such a weird, magical disaster right now. And they're not going to let us carry anything in. We have to ship it in pallets. And I realized like Damon was the perfect person to talk to about this because I was like, my, I did not, I don't think in that way. Tetris is one of my favorite video games, but I don't think in Tetris in real form. <laughs> I think in possibilities. And then we deal with that. So what happened from there? So from there, we actually had extra supplies. So then we, one more thing I said I was never going to do, I was never going to sell supplies. Wait, so, so how we, did you go from the 900 boxes in your garage? Did you have to get another, like a studio? Oh, we had, we had four shipping pods delivered to our driveway. Okay, we had, a, we had a line of boxes that ran down the driveway, through the kitchen, <laughs> around the living room, and then they were packed in the dining room and then pulled out. Okay, so good. Amazing. Yeah, uh, best part of this whole story is... We called the post office and I'm like, hey, we need a pickup and it's going to be serious. Okay. Like we have 900 packages and we just need y'all to come get them. They showed up in a regular like post office a truck. Regular like, and I yeah. was like, follow me. And we showed them <laughs> like the, it was literally four like 30 foot pods in our driveway completely full. Okay. then for those of us who are like, well, we don't have, you know, when we, we don't have a, I mean, currently you have over 400,000 followers on your Facebook page, which for some of us, if we look, what is it? Oh, and I love this. I've seen it before. Okay. I need to know where you get it. It's I, I should have one of those for our video views for this, yes. for this reel. <laughs> you can attach it to just about anything. So oh my one, gosh. Of, I've one seen above them, like, it advertise is before. Facebook. And then this is the number of orders off our website. In how long? Um, three years. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And so every time one happens or a new like happens, which we could actually watch it. Does it go in real time? It doesn't because that drives me crazy. I have it every 15 minutes, I think. Because <laughs> otherwise it's just continually moving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if anyone is wondering, your Facebook page is, tell us what your Facebook page is. Uh, I am Deco Exchange all across social media. So Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere out there. We have the same handle. Okay. Deco exchange is where you can find it. And we're going to dive into a little bit more about some of the ways that we can do this, even if you don't have 400,000 subscribers, because yeah, because whenever I, when I did it, I only had uh, 900 subscribers. Oh my gosh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when was it that you had the six, uh, when was it that these 900 orders came in? How long ago was that? Uh, 2017. Okay. So it's really cool to see like the timeline and the consistency yeah. of it. So tell us what happened next. I'm really excited. Yeah. So after the boxes, we had leftover because everything comes in cases. So if right. you have a random number of boxes, you have extra stuff. So we started listing yeah. the supplies that sold out. So then we moved into, you know, it was two months in our living room like that. We got oh a God. warehouse, moved out. Uh, we started buying the supplies wholesale, reselling supplies. And then in between that, we started uh, actually teaching creatives how to replicate our process. So, cool. so we've taught somewhere around 11,000 uh, creatives in the last three years on how oh to you know, start their Etsy shops, their websites, grow their social media pages, all those things. Uh, that's so cool. It's so good. And when this took off for you, like when you had those 900 orders, were you 
studying social media media strategically or was it I like to call it like sloppy seven figures which is just like it's testing and figuring things out but very sloppy yeah so we did about two million dollars in sales without a web page it's so good someone actually my friend Chris at an event that I was just at she said um, I know you're speaking today, which I'm really excited about. And I went to your website and I couldn't figure out like some of your links were broken. And, and I, I was like, oh my gosh, it's because lead pages did this thing. And I know they're broken. And she was like, you probably really should fi figure that out. And I said, honestly, we've done $4 million in sales at this point, And our website has like, it's not my main focus. Right. And like most of our sales are not coming through our website. So I did fix it that day. Cause it was kind of embarrassing that I was a speaker and she was like, everything on your website is broken, but there's so much that you can do without having to have a fancy website. It's so, so good. So where yeah. were you selling this stuff through? Uh, Etsy. Oh, oh my gosh. No way. Yeah. You didn't even have like your own Shopify store or anything like that. It was all I had. I had a Wix website that <laughs> had um, like a picture of my face and like three buttons. I was using it like a link tree, basically, <laughs> like just because someone told me I had to have a website. So I went and got one. So cool. OK, I love it. Awesome. OK, so now at this point, like that was you hit that two million dollars. How? What point of the business was that? That was in 2018. So okay. I officially left um, my oil and gas job in 2018. Uh, okay. The end of 2017, I was at an event and someone said, you're going to leave your job. And I was like, no, I'm not. That's insane. I get paid a lot of money and I can run my business while I'm at work because I don't, I work like an hour. Yeah. And then uh, I think I might've said, you know, something would freeze over before I quit my job. <laughs> and then uh, two weeks later in Louisiana, which does not happen, we had a snowstorm. <laughs> and I'm like in the car waiting on it to defrost. And there's literally like this much snow on my windshield. And I took a picture of it. And I'm like, I guess it froze over. I'm going to turn it's, in my resignation it letter today. Right? You said, when, it, when Louisiana freezes over, I'll leave my job. And man, it did. That answered. I love it. And the first month that I was out of the oil and gas industry and dedicated to our business, we did more in sales than my whole salary in the oil and gas. Like oh in my one God, month. So and I was like, awesome. okay, well, I guess this is going to work out. So good. <laughs> so good. Okay. That is, and like the rest is history, which now yeah. and at this point, if we look at what's been happening recently and why we were talking about this recently with you know, with live video, you jumped in, you were an early adopter on the thing that was working. Same thing. That's why Absolutely. you were at the mini chat conference, right? Like the messenger bots were doing something cool for you, those types of things. So then it was like, my husband just walked in. I wish he had been here when you were talking about the, they had nine, they accidentally sold 900 crafting kits. <laughs> Oh, that's not an accident. <laughs> it's like, and they, so they had to order shipping pallets to stay in their front yard to be able to hold all the materials. Um, same kind of thing. He woke his husband up and was like, oh my gosh. So we got to this po point and, you know, like awesomeness happens. And now you're also doing the same thing with the, with the new early adapter of Facebook Reels. So what's been happening with that? Yeah, so my rule is anytime they roll out something new, do it. Because it's going to be like your, your free your free gateway because they're going to want people to try it and push it and do things on it. And they're going to give it free growth. Right now they're giving us free money for it. Like, what the heck? I mean, and so if you're not aware of what's actually happening with this, and I, it's so true that when these new features come out, it's the same thing that it was with live video. For a while there, it's the same thing that it was with like Facebook stories because they were, you can tell they're putting it right at the top of the news feed. And there's a reason that they're pushing it out so we can benefit from that by giving the platform what it wants. So in October of 2021, I got offered the opportunity to use Facebook reels and to get paid for it and when it came out i was like really not into short form content and so i was like yeah i'm not gonna do it which was so dumb and not what damon did what, what happened your first month doing it the first month we did it uh let me look oh yeah because i was gonna pull mine up also i know in total 
between the three, the October, November, December, and January, we're at like around 30,000 in Reels bonuses. That That's uh, at dollars. <laughs> so, which, yeah. Okay. $30,000. Yeah. So, and in addition to that, the views that you had on it. So like what did you had to have about 30 million views in total, right? In order for that to happen. 10, because I've noticed it's about maybe like 35 million from that amount, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's, it's so then what we're seeing is all of those people are starting to interact with the new things that we post. So once yeah. they engage with your reel, they're starting to see more of your other content. And so then did you see that you also are getting loads more followers and stuff since this is happening? We have. So most of uh, 2021, we were kind of just stagnant. Um, you know, we had four, we had 380,000 followers when we started 2021. Okay. And up until about October, we were still around the 385 mark. Okay. So since October to now, we're around 414,000, well, 413. And those are followers or likes on your, on your Those are going to be followers now. Yeah. Because we've noticed we didn't have very many new likes happen from ours. We had, but we had loads. I mean, we had 5,000 new followers, which, yeah. So our one video hit a reach of 39 million as of today. And this, and from there, now at this point, because it automatically restarted again. So I'm actually just people who don't know what this is. And then I'd love to do some questions about it also. And then we'll get into the five steps to the eight figures. But if we show you just this little Chrome tab, um, and I had, I mean, I think at this point we're at like 18,000 followers now. So here in the beginning, I didn't do it the first two times that I had it offered to me. What is wrong with you, Mahoney? So here they offered me $530 and I was like, meh, 77 plays, <laughs> $35,000. And I was like, that's gotta be a joke. I messaged Rachel Peterson and, and Rachel Miller. And I was like, yo, Facebook is saying this, but I still don't want to do short form videos. <laughs> so I still didn't do it. Then I finally decided, okay, let me play. And I had one that took off. It hit 20,000. This is a, of a couple different videos, but one of them hit 20,000. And when I finally got paid in my PayPal account, that $164, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> this is actually happening. So at that point I was like, okay, let me actually play. And I just started testing a bunch of random things, which those of you who know what my video is, it has nothing to do with my business or really my passion. So I'm excited to talk more about that. Uh, but now from last month, you know, we hit 35 million bonus plays. $26,000. And then here instantly overnight, it had bumped up to an extra thousand dollars. So we've been doing about a thousand dollars a day just from this one video that took off. That's and amazing. I'm, you know, I'm putting other things out there and testing them and, and uh, little bits here and there. So I'm really excited to see for all of you how, cause Damon is the one who was like, ah, I clicked the wrong link. Uh -oh. Hold on. Sorry. I was like, Hey, hey sorry. I meant to click that. Damon's the yeah. one who was like, yo, there's a link that you can use to get you know, to get access for this. And then I had actually been looking at that link for information, but I hadn't scrolled down on the page to realize you could apply. So after that, I applied for one of our clients who I had said, like, just start posting. She had 500 likes on her page and 500 likes. She's a nurse practitioner and she's posting things that are very specific to her niche, like fun, funny, trending sounds, and then things specific to her niche. And she's already made like $150 off of it. She was approved with a page with only 500 likes. So have you noticed anything that helps people to get approved? Because I've seen like some people here are saying they don't have any, any pages that are approved. Yeah. So what we're seeing is once you apply, start posting the reels. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's what I said. That's that's it. Do that. So uh, yeah. Sally, are you posting reels at all? Or are you just like waiting for it to get applied? Cause I think you actually need to start posting those reels. Um, like Damon just said. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So your videos are actually very specifically about the things that you personally love and about the finding that perfect person who's going to be really excited about ricotta. So do you have a system for helping us to figure out, like the, tell us about the ricotta video. Yeah. So one thing that we always did is when we first started, so we do Facebook lives and we make reads with our audience. Uh, when we're making those reads, people know us for three things. Well, probably four things, right? We always give back. Um, for making wreaths, crafting, uh, rescue dogs who I had Parker snatch out of here because he was getting antsy, and food. 
Like, listen, we're in Louisiana, we like to eat. <laughs> so there's always gonna be some reference to food or we're always doing a fundraiser for something. So it was natural for us to tie in uh, our dogs, our crafting and food all together to attract more people who would enjoy the stuff that we do on our page. Okay, so those three things, the rescue dogs, the food, and the um, the the crafting, I love that, you know, rescue dogs are the thing for you, but for all of us, it could just be that we find a, a person whose organization we love, something like that. And we actually just launched to this week, kind of quietly, but I'm glad you mentioned it, because what we've realized is like you sharing this story is really about helping us all to see what's possible. Right. And I love, I learned this word last year, the possibilitarian. I love like casting a vision for people of what's possible. And so what we did is we created a little mini course called Powerful Possibilities. And within Powerful Possibilities, we're donating all of the proceeds. Plus I'm actually matching whatever we bring in through it for this month to an organization called Cascade Relief Team that helps to rebuild homes after they've been affected by natural disasters. So if anybody's interested in it, you can go to molly.live slash PPP for powerful possibilities, people, <laughs> right? And everything is going to go to that. So I'm really excited because I am actually the person who was struggling to know which organization I would want to have as something that we partner with. And so I polled our community to see like what they're giving back to. And, you know, I have some, ah, that's so loud. Where is it? Ah, it's live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this on, um, okay. <laughs> um, Paula Beauty says to tell you, Paul, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. He's sending you messages through my Instagram, which we met on Clubhouse. It's so funny. Okay. Um, there you go. Back on Instagram. We're fine. So this was something that for me was a little bit of a tricky thing. So I pulled our community to see what they, what was important. Oh my gosh. Stop. I don't know. It's a number that I don't know. I don't know how to do things while I'm live. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now my live video is paused. I don't know what I just did. Sorry. Authenticity indicator. Okay. So for me, it was about finding a person who was doing something and our, our member of our community, Mark, who is out there, like literally helping people build, rebuild their homes, rebuild this possibility. So for right now, that's the organization that we're partnering with. But I, if you can find something in your own community that you're really passionate about like that, so that you help tie the whole entire business to a greater why, I just think that's such an awesome thing. So it's huge. I, yeah, I love it. And, you know, it has to feel authentic because if it doesn't, True. people know that you're just trying to save face or save grace uh, by doing something sleazy, right? Yeah, so Exactly. And I think that's know. part of, I mean, I have things that I'm super passionate about. Like, you know, my name used to be Molly Equality Mahoney Dominguez on Facebook. <laughs> like, so there are things that I'm really like, we stand for joy as a fierce form of activism. And we have these things that we, um, you know, I, I want to launch our own nonprofit, which goes into schools and teaches kids how to be confident, but I couldn't find the perfect, like kid confidence, equity organization, which I'm going to launch on my own someday. <laughs> so for That's now, what we did. yeah. So how, so how did you did that from there? Yeah. So we have the Deco Exchange Foundation now. And uh, we do all of our nonprofit stuff through the foundation. And that's how we do all the things that we love. Okay. Um, I love it. You know, what we realized was that not every foundation needed our money. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll just leave it there. And, you know, you, you think you're doing something good and turns out you, it didn't go where you thought. So it wasn't hard to like start your own foundation and write your own bylaws and you get friends to see you put on those <laughs> <empty> earrings. <laughs> it happens to me all the time where my earrings just fall off. They get very excited. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, whenever we want to, when there's a hurricane and our neighbors get affected and our audience wants to donate food and supplies, we are... We're a good hub, you know, we have it all shipped to our warehouse and we can redistribute it. And we know that a hundred percent of that food is going to people that need it. Um, so it's definitely rewarding 
That is such a great point that you can start by donating to a specific, you know, organization or cause and then create your own. Mm. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So that you, for you, that came kind of easily for the rest mm. of the hu humans here who may not be like, oh, I have my three things. And, and honestly, my problem is sometimes that I love more than I don't, that I just get excited about everything. And I'm like, can we just make mine all about big earrings, gold bananas, Brussels sprouts, jazz music, and Hades Town the musical? <laughs> I feel like all those things are one thing, though. They're all extra. Oh, that's true. Everything right? is extra. <laughs> so if you're just attracting more people who love being extra, it's going to work out. <laughs> I last week on a call, I um I said to Liz about an old video of ours. I was like, oh, these videos are so, were so extra. And she's like, oh, it was my headshots. That's what it was. I was like, all of these headshots, they're so extra. And she was like, um, excuse me, like, do you know who you're talking about? You're a little extra. I mean, it's I, true. It's you know, true. I think that goes back to being authentic real quick is whenever you ask me for a photo, it's literally a selfie. Yeah. Like whenever you're like, do you have a photo that you can share? That's my headshot. It's literally a selfie on my couch. Uh, it's what's on our website. It's what's in our events. It's because that's who we are. And if someone yeah. saw me like all dressed up, they'd be like, who kidnapped him? Which even like when we first met, like this, and it's something I was that probably I wearing something on. similar to this. <laughs> <t -shirt. laughs> and it's something that we get a lot also that like I, the way that I am on camera here is how I actually am in real life and how I've been, right? Like, so, um, and I guess you're right. Like, it's just extra because, I mean, I may have, like, things like this just lying around my desk. Right? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and the shoes. So, the shoes has been another thing that actually has done really well for us. When I do talk about my shoes, they do super well. So, um, I love it. So, is there, like, a, a formula or um, how do people... Let's get to these five steps. So they're actually yeah. five steps to the eight figures. So I just, I wrote down five things that I okay. like to think about. Number okay. one, who you serve, mm. right? You have to know that. If you don't know that, you're going to be in trouble. And, you know, we have who we serve down to like a science. I love it. Right. We know the demographics. We know who she is. We know... Uh, how she thinks, what her pain points are. And if people because... want, oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, if people want to know like more about your process with that, there's a number they can text, right? I'm gonna put it in the chat. Yeah. Do they text a certain word? Uh, when? W I M P P. W I M P P. So who is, who -P -P. P -P. Yeah. Okay. So it's who is my perfect person. Okay. <laughs> I was like, are you saying I'm a wimp because <laughs> my earring fell off and because I'm so extra? <laughs> so, okay. yeah, they, they can like read this whole thing in there. Um, there is one. So that is actually an old class that we used to teach. Okay. But whenever Facebook took away audience insights. Oh, which it, was such a thing. It makes one step in there like obsolete now and I haven't redone it yet. So okay. I was just like, you know what? People can just have the workbook. They can look at it. Amazing. Okay. So awesome. So know who you serve. So <clears throat> important. And I don't know if you see this, but we see so many people skip over that mm -hmm. or they're afraid to pick someone that is very specific. Are they only worry about what they want? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, let's be real. True. So I think okay. it's important to have a balance of knowing who you are and knowing who you serve. Yeah. So for me, I show up authentic. If you come on my live and you are a brat, I'm going to just call you out on it. Like, it's not going to be just smoothed over. Like someone left a comment. I then wrote her name down and I'm a blocker for my page later. Already like, today? Yeah. Just in oh, the I didn't even see it. They okay. said you're too extra for them. Oh, thank well, you. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, this, and this is actually good. See how I don't even see those things anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so true. I think I it's like comments like that. And yeah. then the community cheer like comes in and it's like they go to bat for me, which I really right. appreciate. <laughs> I think um, something that I learned as you know, growing up, I was overweight and gay, right? So when people talk to you, they'll either talk to you or they'll talk through you, mm -hmm. and you have to tell people how they're allowed to treat you. Yeah. So whenever someone comes on our lives and they are negative or you know, they're like, 
can you stop talking and craft? I just let them know like, hey, that's not okay in this space. This is how we act here. If you can't, there's a little red X, go for it. Yeah, or there's an X on our side where we can block you. <laughs> yeah. I, my favorite thing now is, have you seen like on mobile when you try to block them, it's like block them and all future profiles. Oh yeah, and I've seen it on, on YouTube that it's like, or on Instagram actually, any future profiles they try to create, it's on Instagram, yeah, I love it's it. It's amazing, it's yes. amazing. So the next thing that you have to do is I mean, this is what it's about, right? Is rocking socks and flip flops. That's exactly <laughs> totally. Yeah. I love it. The next thing that you have to do is show up where they hang out. Ooh, yes. Right. So I know that because I know who my perfect person is, I know where they hang out. They hang out on Facebook. So even if I get mad at Facebook, if I'm mad because they didn't like my one time I was selling a fake strawberry plant and they flagged it as selling alcohol. Show up. <laughs> because there was some big beer brand that was had some big campaign around strawberry flavored beer that month. So oh somehow gosh, no our way. strawberry thing got flagged. Another thing that we had was like a stuffed chicken. Well, okay. the list said six inch chicken and they thought we were selling live chicken. Flagged. So those little things are like aggravating, but at the end of the day, I know that if I look at my target demographic, those people hang out on Facebook. Yep. They're not on Instagram. Yep. So it's just and within Facebook, I mean, this is something we talk about a lot also is the, we call them awareness playgrounds. You've <laughs> got to play on the playground where your people are playing. So it yeah. starts with the platform, but then within the platform, where are they spending time? Where are they showing up as well? So I, I love it. And if you don't know who that person is, you're not going to know where those places are. Also, that goes back to whatever Facebook tells you to do, do that thing. So right now we know that pages have a pretty low reach. That person really it. wants your attention. It's okay. I I'm fixing it. it right now. You know, right now, if you just have a business page, Facebook may show your post to what? One to 4% of your audience if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. But Facebook says, do a reel and everyone will see it. And look what's happened. Yeah. So even if our people don't know what a reel is, which whenever I ask them on Facebook, hey, look, now they're calling me. I don't know what is happening and I don't know how to, I turned it off. I fixed it. <laughs> it's the banana phone. It's because it's I put out, phone. I put out all the calls. Banana phone. We're here. We're listening. We just can't talk right now. Okay. <laughs> so now that, you know, Facebook is telling you like, oh, do a reel. Our people, a lot of them are like, oh, we saw some short video. It was too short. I didn't understand it. Right. Mm -hmm. So they don't even understand what a reel does. But because yep. we did what Facebook said to do, Facebook is showing that reel to our people. Yep. So show up where they hang out. Um, you know, I really want to use TikTok, but most of my people don't hang out on TikTok. Yeah. But it's, now it's you're able to, I mean, it's cool because now you're able to like repurpose that videos. stuff by, by creating the video on TikTok in the first place, if that's fun for you, and then just using it on the other platforms, which is so great. So I actually <laughs> create first on Facebook now. On because... Facebook, Reels with you. Because Facebook Reels right now does not have the Facebook logo when you download it. Oh, interesting. If you So we are doing them mostly on Instagram and downloading it before we post it. Okay. I, did, I didn't think about the fact that Facebook doesn't have that logo. The, the And we're using Restream. Have you? Been, oh, I, you have been using Restream. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, <laughs> listen. Restream. Parker was like, what did you do? We literally have like 60 violations in 10 minutes. I'm because like, I was like, oh, Restream is really cool. And you can take all your TikTok videos and post them instantly other places. But I didn't mention that if you do it automatically, it'll post everything. So they got, he was like, Molly, you got me in so much trouble. <laughs> Luckily, they all got cleared up. So I don't know what Parker did, but we got out of awesome. all those. Okay. Um, I have mine set up to because it automatically for so those of you that like techie things, if you are posting TikTok videos, you can set it up with this tool called Restream or not Restream. We're using Restream. Repurpose is the tool. Repurpose. repurpose. Um, uh, repurpose will automatically set them so they can go to your YouTube channel and it will load them as a short. When it loads it onto Instagram or Facebook, it doesn't load it as a reel. So we're actually just automatically downloading all those into Google Drive and then you can do other things with them. But it's so cool because it's just like, it's automatic, but you have to be careful about the music 
music the stuff music. you'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, so, that's what happened to me. Crazy. Um, so what I should do is I should redo my ones from TikTok because the TikTok ones just have like the elevator music. And I went oh. from Facebook to YouTube. And Facebook on the business account right now allows you to choose basically anything. Like they don't yeah. have to do. Tricky. That's what I need to do. I don't like it. I like it. Okay. Well, so I am just outside of New Orleans. Okay. My husband went to school in New Orleans, so he's now here listening. He's in the real live studio audience. And so he's he's sending Where did he go to school? When when were you there? When, where? Oh, UNL. where? UNO. Okay. The jazz musician. But Jeffrey Simnel's out there. Oh, yeah. And one of our best friends, Jeffrey, is is out there now. Okay. Kenner or Metairie? Metairie. Kenner. Kenner. Yeah. We like yeah. to go to Kenner for uh, a seafood restaurant. Oh, we'll have to come out sometime. Okay, well, number three. Was number three do what Facebook tells you? Uh, number three is think about how you create a place to be and not just a place to buy. Ooh. So I like to compare that one to Target versus a shoe store. So okay. like you would only, well, most people would only walk into a shoe store when they had the intent to need a new pair of shoes. Yes. So whenever we're selling a product, we don't want people to think of our page as a place just to buy that product. Because how many times have you walked into a shoe store and left with something else? Mm. You usually just leave with a pair of shoes, right? Yeah. But if you walk into Target, like how many times have you walked into another marketplace and randomly picked up a pair of flip flops on your way out along with all the other stuff, right? (laughs) Socks, the shoes, everything. I remember one day at Target, they had moved everything, like everything was moved around. And I was like, oh, this is so annoying. Why are they moving everything? And then it was in the grocery aisle. And I was like, the, you know, look, buying tortillas or something. And I was like, what is up? Oh, that star sweater is so cute. And I was like, no, darn you, Target. Got you. <laughs> they totally got me. But it's yeah. true. Even if like, I mean, I look at anthropology that way also, which is one of my favorite stores that I literally, when I'm on tour, when I, so I was a musical theater performer and I did Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the musical on tour. And every city that we were at on tour, I would find the yarn store. And I would find the anthropology and anthropology you can just be in. And it's almost like a a museum. You're just like happy to be there. So create that experience. I love it. So whenever we're live on our Facebook page, even though everything that we're using is for sale, they're just hanging out Mm -hmm. and having a conversation with us. Yeah. You know, I like to think of it as what would someone do if they were like standing in line at the grocery store to check out? Mm-hmm. Are they going to go look at your Etsy shop real quick? Or are they going to go to your Facebook page to see what you posted today? Yeah. So, I love it. So place good. to be. Number four, edutainment. That's what we like to call it. Educate, entertain, you'll make sales. And it, that's the one I think a lot of people shy away from because they feel silly. I mean, if we mm-hmm. look at all these little mini videos, most of them are... I mean, sometimes it's just inspirational or educational, but for the most part, there's some sort of entertainment factor to it that causes it to do so well. Yeah. I love it. And then number five, overserve. Ooh, talk about this one. So you can't just show up whenever you want to show up (laughs) and you have to really, you know, go all in. So for us, we know that a lot of our audience is older we know that a lot of our audience had hard times through COVID. Mm -hmm. We know that a lot of our audience lost kids, relatives, spouses through COVID. So we made it a point on Valentine's Day to have a date with our audience. I love it. And because we're it was authentic, like it didn't even come across as trying to be salesy for us. Like it, we were literally in our kitchen and I was like, I'm gonna go to the warehouse and go hang out with our people for a little while. I think some of them probably need it. Yeah. Right. And it's just, you know, it's going back to our perfect person and knowing who they are and thinking of them as a friend, someone to talk to, someone that needs you to talk to them versus just a dollar sign. Yeah. So true. It's so good. How do you balance that with, I know some people get concerned or, or, 
not even just worried it actually happens that they find themselves in a place where they've given so much and then they're not asked they're not actually making an offer like for some of for some of the people that are here they don't have a physical product that they can be like I'm going to use my target mug as my example, just having a coffee date with you. And like, if someone happens to like my, it's official, you're awesome mug, then they could buy it. Right. Yeah. So what are some of the ways that you help people with that? So the first that? thing that you really need to do is figure out uh, what you offer mm -hmm. or what they want from you. So for us, if you can see my whiteboard back here, there's like literally a whole funnel written out on what people let's see if I can turn this camera a little bit right? Like how they find us, what they do, what what's going to be the step in the offer. Um, so if I was trying to sell, you know, a document that just, let's say we were just selling this perfect person thing, I would make sure that the conversation led to, you know, how you make more sales on Etsy, you have to know what they're searching for. And talking that up a little bit, so number one, serving, I'm going to tell them exactly how they can do it while I'm live. But yep. if you want the written out workbook, it's nine bucks, go get it. Awesome. Right. And it's creating those, those gaps, right? Like you're, you're giving, but then you're also each thing that you're giving is creating a gap to something else that could help them even right. more. Yeah. And you know, if yeah. you start educating and entertaining them, um, they're going to be, you know, wow, if I can get that for free, what else is in that workbook? Yeah, so good. So good. So how often are you guys going live now? Uh, three or four times a week, at least. Yeah. And is there a specific, uh, like, are those live videos, are you creating something every time? Are you teach? Are they different? Like, is there a specific, stru um, like, structure is the word I was looking for? So for us, we're always creating. Like, I never just go live like this and just talk with them. I would... Yeah plan a talk like this throughout a craft project. Like in the middle of while you're doing a project. Yeah. Right. So, cool. and I'll, I can have a conversation with them. And then if they start asking more questions about that topic, I'll be like, if you guys wait till the end, we'll pull out the whiteboard. Okay, cool. I was going to ask, we'll the map whiteboard it out, you know? Yeah. Because what it. we notice is that when we look at our audience today, probably 80% of them just want to craft for fun. And 20% want to craft for a business. So we allow them to show up and decide if they want to consume that content or not. So I'm not just trying to be like, oh, you have to be a business. Interesting. So that, that's another thing that I think a lot of people get. I, I notice this from our clients. There's resistance to the people who show up to hang out and, and are not wanting to buy in the community. Like, I mean, sometimes people, and I don't know if you've seen this, but people will get really like resentful. Well, they're just showing up and they're not buying anything. And it's like, whoa, because I really, while obviously I would like people to buy from us and to be at, at the next level of support that we offer. And we have three different levels of offers from, we have a $30 membership. We have a program that's about $5,000. And then we have one that's like 20 to 30 K. And so we have it at a point where people can jump in at any level. And still there's some people who watch all of our stuff, who engage on all of our stuff, but they don't end up purchasing. And I am always super grateful for the fact that they're giving us that extra social proof. They're, they're helping to, to gel the community together. Um, but I know, how do you help people with that? Cause I'm sure you've heard that before. Absolutely. Um, I always say is you're not monetizing the right things. Because if, okay, so my camera is going to be crazy for a second. Hang on. I can uh, switch cameras. See, I moved it and that wire didn't oh, like it. Tricky. There we go. It's not as good of a camera. I'm a little oh, dull yeah, now. I like it. I like it. It's okay. <laughs> so, Here. for example, if people um, were doing all the things that Facebook said, right? So we could do... Uh, Reels bonuses, we could get ad revenue in our videos and people could literally just show up with their eyeballs and we'll make money. A hundred percent. Right? Amen. Get people to click over to your, tell them on the live video, hey, even if you're not interested in purchasing today, go read this blog post. Do you Another have, are you stream. monetizing your blog post somehow? Like with We are. Other... So we have affiliate links throughout the blog post and then we have okay. ad revenue on the blog. So, so if we look at just between... Facebook ad bonuses, Facebook reels. Hey, 
grainy videos together. I was trying to, well, now you see all my bookshelves that are on the floor and not actually on the shelves because we're having this work done, but now we'll both be like authentic together. Right. I love it. <laughs> so, you know, between just the ad revenue between YouTube and our website and Facebook, it's about $15,000 a month. Which is such a good point. I'm so glad I asked that question because a lot of people are only looking at if I sell my own product, but we do right. super well with affiliates also. And then yeah. by having those affiliate offers, sometimes it gives people a chance to purchase something from us, but actually from someone else, yes. but they still tie it to like with, I mean, with Jarvis or Jasper, whatever it's called now, right? Yeah. Like I even in that regard, like I came and shared tips with your community about it because I had Jarvis, which if I wasn't talking about Jarvis, that probably... I mean, it, it probably wouldn't have happened. Yeah. 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 So such a great, great point. So there's, and we have, I have a video about seven different monetization styles, which are monetization models or something. And one is like, you know, sell your own products, sell your own services, but you can also even sell your videos. So you put the videos out there for free and then you sell, you take them down after a certain amount of time yeah. and sell them then. There's so many ways that you can do this. And the new monetization stuff with, with Facebook and even with Instagram just makes it even easier. Yeah. I would also say like they need to work on their connection with their people because hmm. we have people that are in our membership who have access to just about everything, but they still sign up for every class because we're hanging out on that weekend without them and they don't, that's not okay. So good. Right. And right. it's that proximity piece. Mm -hmm. And if you create a community and a feeling like that, that's palpable, Right. People will pay for it. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. Um, I know we're coming up just on the hour, so I just want to make sure there's a couple of, I need to give one my, little disclaimer. My comments froze. I don't know about yours. Oh no, mine are still working. Okay, good. But, um, I haven't seen yeah. So if you have questions that are coming up, do you have time to go like 10 more, five, 10 more minutes to answer yeah, questions? Absolutely. Okay. So if you have questions that have come up from any of this about your business, how you can make this work, why I have a box of there these beautiful crystals that I just bought were in that box. <laughs> um, any questions, put them in the chat. Then we're going to pick our nugget winners as well. And um, I want to clarify in the description of this video, it says to drop the word remind me all one word below because it'll get you access to the reminders. But then we went live on Damon's page too and Damon doesn't have that bot set up. So I apologize. <laughs> Um, if you want to see what would happen if that was set up, I'll show you where to go because it only works on my business page and my business page alone. So it's confusing. So sorry. Um, but if you go to molly.live slash remind me, it will actually take you to the flow that you can see how we do that. And we have like, there's these new things where you can actually send weekly reminders via many chat. I don't know if you know that it's brand new and I know it's still tricky, but <laughs> we are still using that. Okay. Um, the other thing is if you just joined us and you want to get access to the magic of this perfect person thing, can you just tell us about it one more time? Yeah. Uh, so basically it is a whole workbook that walks you through how to identify who your perfect person is. Um, have you ever used the little trick that you go Google a magazine or a popular person's, uh, What's it called? The media kit? The media kit. Yes, I have. Yes. It's, yeah. such a, it's such a good tip. I actually learned that from Selena Sue. Okay. And if you do it, so if you want the whole perfect person um, exercise workbook, just text 404-553-3451. Text the word WIMP, <laughs> W-I-M-P-P, -P, what is my perfect person? And... Um, oh, do you know that I was published in Crochet Today? I did not know that. Just watch out, world. The only, the only fun thing that I did was decorate the White House. Oh my gosh, which I was going to say at the beginning. I totally meant to drop that at the beginning. Damon decorated the actual White House last year. Year before last. Was it? Last online? year. I, yeah, last year oh, I didn't yeah. go. It was, you're right. It was the year before last. Yeah, the year before yeah. last. Okay, but that is so cool. And um, guess what my pattern was that was in crochet today? What was it? A dog sweater. <laughs> See, we were it meant was to a be dog friends. Shrug, a dog shrug. 
which also happened on accident because I was dog sitting and I thought, oh, I wonder what my shrug would look like on this dog. And it looked amazing. So I submitted it and it, it got in. Um, so if I, okay, look at this. This is such a good example. I just Googled crochet today media kit yeah. and this, I just did this here, but it's telling you who their audience is, gender, demographic, all of this stuff. So yeah. good. So, you know, like what they're saying right there, if you scroll down a little bit, their audience hangs out on Pinterest. So if you're trying to run a crochet business and you do not use Pinterest in your business, you're missing out on 10 million monthly views. And look at the difference between, even if we just look at followers, 117,000 right. followers compared to 18,000 followers. That is yeah. ginormous. Mm -hmm. Ginormous. So such a good little last minute nugget, which I love that. So good. And I'm sure there's more inside that thing. So, so good. Yeah, there's a bunch in there. Yeah. Love it. Um, okay, cool. So you want to pick our nugget winner? Yeah. Do you know how we pick these winners? I don't. Okay. So when I have a guest on, oftentimes I will just say, tell me when to stop, but I want to show you what I do when I don't have a guest on because okay. we'll like combine them together. So what I do is I sing in order to pick nugget winners. I'm not singing. Okay. So let's, do you want to sing something? No. Oh, <laughs> you said, I love singing. Did you no, say I said, I'm not singing. I was going to sing. Don't worry. So usually I go like this. I'll pick my first one singing and then the second one will let you do whatever you want. Ready? Okay. So this one is going to be for the dancing messenger bot and you can drop new nuggets right now. You'll get entered to win if you share in the hashtag nugget and then what the takeaway was, because this has been so good. Okay. So our I'm people gonna... are real confused and they're just putting hashtag nuggets. They, oh. they got to say what the nugget is, right? Yeah. You have to share what the nugget is, yo. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you. I see it. Nuggets, 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 nuggets. Now you have to share what the nugget is because the reason that we do this nugget giveaway is, first of all, it tells the Facebook platform and YouTube platform that people are interested in enjoying this. So right. if you just write nugget, it looks like engagement bait. So you actually get us flagged for bad content because it looks like you're just dropping one word. But if you drop something like nugget, white house that's yeah. kind of a little bit more in depth if you drop something that's like hold on oh my gosh we've got to find one that is here nugget be yourself then i know that that message is resonating with you so in addition to the book of faces taking this as something that's like hey people are paying attention i <laughs> i also see what resonates like you don't need a website so i may see this and then I, I may go to the post about that. Yeah. Because I it tells believe. us what to go talk about more on too. Yeah. Like, oh, if you really like media kits, we could do a whole little thing on how to go research media kits. It's like the ultimate super sneaky magic. And then yeah. we're actually giving you real things. So you're giving a Tumblr or two Tumblrs. Is that what you said? Yeah, we'll do two Tumblrs. Which is awesome. So now we're actually, rather than doing a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad while we're doing this, we're investing in the actual physical thing we're sending you in the mail. So I'm going to send a book and a dancing, a dancing bot. Those things actually help with this. So I side note because she just said ads. Parker just said Parker needs a raise nugget. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Parker, but, that's a good one. <laughs> I've seen two things. I don't have access to it yet, but I've seen two things oh, recently. Wow. I think you may have told me one that you can retarget your reels and ads. So if Which you're creating so your I can't believe I haven't done content it yet. and you retarget those people, genius. Genius. But and if your face on, is in your, if your face is in the original reel and then your face is in the part where you, or something from your brand at least is in the, the ad that you're doing, there's something in their brain that's going to be like, oh, this is familiar because I've seen it before because they saw your fun, funny reel. Then you follow up and they're like, oh, I should trust this person because I laughed with yeah. them before. That's right. <laughs> and then I saw something a little interesting on two of my one-on-one -on -one clients somehow they're going to insert ads into reels. Yeah. I saw you say that, that as a placement, maybe, you know what it could be, you know, I call it like the reels shelf, how they call it the short shelf yeah. where it goes side to side. Maybe they'll be able to put ads like In short form there. video ads into the reels shelf, which I haven't yeah. seen showing up yet. <clears throat> I haven't seen either. And when we clicked on it and we tried to mess with it, it just kept like going to a white screen. So it's not oh. there yet, but it was weird. It was in the monetization so in Creator Studio, in monetization, under in-stream ads, 
there was a new tab across the top that had reels. Cool. And this goes back to what you were saying earlier about doing, you know, doing the things that are new. Sometimes when you go to do the things that are new, you'll see that it's like a hot mess or you're not able to, it's like broken or whatever. And you have to stay in a place of play and a place of experimenting because it's not always going to work because they're beta testing it basically as it's being rolled out. But have you started using the clips of, of videos? Mm -hmm. I did. So it now, now you can like life. do it and they put it in your story. Oh, that's cool. Can you so do it? If in you're, real? You can't add it to the reel, but if they're watching your story, you can like clip out. Like if you have like a little zinger moment, yeah. You can clip that part and then underneath it says watch full video. Oh, and they, that they is click so on that cool. reel and it takes them back to the live video. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. It's in uh Creator Studio. Where? So like whenever whenever you go look at your uh published, hang on. I think I can but, share the screen. Yeah, you can because restream is cool like that. It shows <laughs> up. Yeah. So if you're in Creator Studio and look at published, go to your videos. Okay. And then whenever you look at one of your videos. Not the one that's live now, but. <laughs> uh, it'll say create a clip. Cool. And then it basically like breaks up all the transcriptions. Because the text like that, it's like later. Yeah. So you can oh, like scroll like through, find that one moment you want to share. Oh my gosh, I did not know that was like that. And oh. then it creates the story out of just that little clip. That I have done the clips before, but never seen it with the text like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is <laughs> so cool. So much. Magic. And then whenever it uh, finishes, it takes a little while to create the clip, but when it finishes, you see like the top half is the video. And then underneath is a invite button that takes them to watch the rest of your video. That is so cool. Have you been, been doing the thing where you schedule on Instagram? I have not. I don't really use my Instagram. I have like 115,000 followers on Instagram that I don't talk to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the reason that I had the Instagram video going today is because they've just created this thing where you can schedule your Instagram videos. And let me just show you something that's so cool with it. So I don't, I'm not really focusing it on it as like a live thing where I'm talking to people, but what it does, and I know we had some people come over here when I turned it off because my phone kept ringing, but what it does is, do you see that image of us together right yeah. there? And then mm -hmm. that little bell on top of it yeah. means that before you're live, it's actually a notification that says, hey, they're going to okay. go live. After you're live, what's super cool is when they click on it, it actually brings up the replay of the live video, kind of similar to the clips thing. When you yeah. click on it, it takes you, uh, it takes you to the actual video, which maybe I that's cool. Now we'll have to use that. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't know if I shared, I don't think I shared the live video, right? Because we were actually still here live, but it takes you back to it, which is awesome. And so then, I mean, it's just like other ways that you can get more people to your actual videos, which is right. Neat. I like it. It's kind of like on Clubhouse. I don't know if you've seen on Clubhouse now how you can do the little clips on Clubhouse. Have you seen that? I stopped looking at Clubhouse. We did it once in the past six months, but because <laughs> it sucks at your soul. Because <laughs> these people are giving that advice and you can't say anything because you're not on the platform. I'm like, that's not even true. That's not how that works. <laughs> I have to leave because I was getting angry. And you can't even write it in the chat. You just have to. Like, <laughs> you can't do anything. You just have to absorb it and shake. I'm like, that's the worst advice you could ever give someone about live video content. Like, you should use scripts on everything. I was like, oh no, we do. We're gonna like see your eyes like reading. Yeah, it's the worst, even with a teleprompter. Um. Oh, you know what? Actually, Cheryl, it may be a good platform for you with some of the stuff that you're going through. Cheryl asks what it is. It's an audio only platform, so um, yeah. it's like a podcast. But have you have you played with audio um, rooms? I have not. I went to do it the other day and I just didn't do it. Yeah. It's one of our, our YouTube isn't, you know, super bananas or anything, but it's one of our highest traffic um, search things that we show up for is audio rooms because we played with it in the beginning, like, you know, yeah. like jumping in and playing with it. <clears throat> I, got some, I got some new 
Uh, <laughs> something new with audio on Facebook this week. I want to figure took... out how to get the podcast thing because there's a whole podcast tab. We don't really do much with the podcast, but maybe if oh, I you don't have it yet. No, I can't. I don't think I've tried and I can't figure out how to get it. Uh, ours is connected. So I'll find out how I did that and I'll let you know. Okay. I, I mean, I think maybe I just need to start sharing my actual podcast more, but I don't, podcasts are always so weird. Like which link do you share? And I don't know. There's always so many options. No. So you can connect it somehow. Are you on the new version of Facebook? No. Oh, maybe that's why you don't see it. That very well could be. We have one more page that just got, um, uh, <laughs> one more page that just got added. I love this. Just keep talking. I could listen to you forever. <laughs> Thank you. It's because there's so many cool things to talk about. You have to set up the SSL feed for your podcast, Parker says. Parker, will you show us that? That sounded like a lot of work, whatever he just said. I mean, just to take the, the feed link, like the RSS feed or whatever, but I don't know. Yeah, but somewhere. Okay, while you're searching, I'm going to sing and pick my two nugget winners. And then we'll okay. pick it. Okay, so oh. here's how I do it. Ready? I go. Yeah. Did you figure it out? Yeah. Okay. So do you have professional dashboard on your business page yet? Um, maybe. Do I find that just in the, do I have to go to the business studio or something? Uh, I just went to the regular app and then I switched it over to my business page. Okay. And then. But in professional dashboard, one of the, uh. Your tools is podcast. Yeah, I bet that's in the new one too. Okay. But I wonder if I go into the business studio. I think there's, this is there's another way to get it because our friend Sarah Williams, uh, a... she didn't have it and I sent her a link and she was able to sign up through the link. So I'll see what I sent Sarah and I'll send it over to you. All the magic, all the magical things. I also think it's good to see that like sometimes you just have to play around to be able to figure this stuff out where people get so mad and frustrated. Like it's not working for me, but it's sometimes you just got to like, you know, play around. we were uh, with our mastermind group last week. So there yeah. was 25 of us in the room uh, at one night at dinner. There was eight of us around the table and yeah. all eight of us had a different screen of Facebook on our phone. See, I always say that I had heard that there's always at least six different different screens but i ate look at that yeah. so they're always beta testing different things yeah. cassandra says my mind is exploding with all of this tech talk but i want to learn cassandra's my piano teacher and i wish cassandra i want you to come we have an event happening in march and it's so like when you have people there in person there's so much it makes the learning with this kind of stuff so much easier because yeah. you can actually hold the phone hold the phone hold the hold the phone i need a stand for my banana phone Okay, we gotta get we gotta get to other things. So we're gonna pick the winner. Ready? Here's yep. what I do. I do somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. All right, now we're here. I can't even see what it is. It better be a nugget. Kevin says, Nugget, know your customer. Okay, so you are our first winner. You win a dancing messenger bot. All you have to do to get it is you're going to email molly at thepreparedperformer.com. Send us your address. I'm putting that in my chat, but I don't know if you can see it on your side. So molly at the prepared performer, And then um, send us your address and we'll send you a dancing messenger bot. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Um, you pick this next one. So just tell me when to stop. I'm scrolling. Stop. All right. We got Nugget Happiness, <laughs> which is uh, Sherry says that. So Sherry, you are the winner too, which means you're going to get Finding My Awesome. We're going in order of the things we were doing. So we'll I, need a, I want a copy of that one. Where do we, where do we get that book? It. I'm going to send it to you. If you, if you go to findingmyawesome.com, the website should work, but who knows? It's on Amazon. It's actually on Amazon, Target, Barnes & Noble, all of the things. I you think go. maybe even like Walmart, all of the places, just finding my awesome. But I'm going to send you a copy. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to pick yours now. Ready for the tumblers? I'm scrolling. Okay. Stop. <laughs> it is. Oh, that's a reply. That's not a nugget. But hold on. We're going to find one more. We got to. It's got to be a nugget. So more nuggets. Tell me again. Stop. Let's make sure it's a nugget. It is. Uh oh, clips. 
clips are a good nugget, completely craft by Shanti. So nugget clips, Shanti, you've got to um, reach out to Damon. How can they reach out to you with it? Uh, email us info at damonotes.com. Okay. Then we're doing one more. Yeah. I want to see all the nuggets, all the nuggets. Tell me when. Stop. <laughs> Is Sally nugget. Hold the phone. <laughs> so Sally, you want a Tumblr? Sally and I get to meet in person at the Sam Cart Mastermind, which that's another benefit of affiliate products. I'm going to Baltimore next week to record something at the Sam Cart head headquarters. And then also we got to go to this mastermind in Miami together, which was so fun. So tell me the website or the email address again. Info at DamonOats.com. Okay. Info at DamonOats.com. I love it. Okay. There's so many good nuggets here. We sometimes do a little recap, but I think I'm just going to go edit the recap out of when we when we did it because I think we okay. we've gone over all the magic. Um, yeah. Any last little thing you want to add? No, I think the biggest recap is just knowing who your perfect person is and talking to them, right? Yeah, and deciding. Like, do you feel that? Um, do you feel that when you help people to find their perfect person, it's always like stays that perfect person forever, or does it morph? It morphs. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to keep paying attention. You have to pay attention. And your perfect person can change based off your where your audience is. Mm, right? Interesting. Yeah. So if I was, for example, like you were on stage at Mini Chat, if I was on stage at Mini Chat saying, oh, let's help you build a wreath business, probably wouldn't go over too well. There's probably not that many other wreath makers in there. Right. But if I would have said, do you have a struggling e commerce business? Because so in reality, true. So in reality, true. I can help any e-commerce person build a platform. Yep. Right. But I talk to wreath makers every day. So whenever and I'm when on you're... Facebook, I talk to wreath makers. But when you know what room you're in, like what playground you're playing on, you may have to adjust your language a little bit. So when I go to an e-women network, I may say, like, I help women who are, you know, women entrepreneurs, even though we have men in our program and I have, yeah. you know, we, we have men that we help as well, but depending on what playground you're at, you may speak a little bit differently, which I, I love that so much. <clears throat> one, oh. one more question for you. Okay. Whenever you go to all these places, do you run ads to those places? Oh my gosh. We, I didn't do it this recent time and I should have, but we, that would have been a, I should have, but one time, can I tell you the coolest one that we did? Cause we've done two yeah. times that it worked so well. One time I was at, an event and I sponsored and I got people's um, like email addresses for access to a video planner, content planner or something. And I built a custom audience out of just the people who had opted in for that custom for the video planner. And I didn't even do location specific. It was at that time, this was like 2017. I made it just that, that list. Yeah. And I retargeted a video that was me saying, Hey, it was so good to meet you. I'd love to connect. There's so many people here, but like, let's find a way to, to connect. So I was standing in the lobby and there was a guy that I had met earlier and he was scrolling through his phone on Facebook and he was like, literally across the lobby, I saw him go. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can teach you how to do that too, you know? And another one we did for a client who had won an award in an event. And I, I targeted the event with her super casual picture, like selfie saying, hey, I'm at this event. There's so many people here. I'd love to connect with you. Just drop the word connect below because I know I'm probably, you know, I'm trying to get in touch with everybody. And she, it completely blew up that post for her. And then she was able to follow up with people afterwards. Yes. So good. Are, do you, are you doing much of that? All the time. Yeah. If I'm at an event, I'm running ads to the event. You know, yeah. it could be like, hey, come take a selfie with me. It could be, hey, why haven't we chatted yet? Anything. It's so good. I love it. And it's so, that one is so easy because you actually can pinpoint the specific place and then add some sort of interest demographic right. to it. Like they have a Facebook page or something like that, you know? I think we have yeah. one more thing to say. Okay. I think it's super important to show people exactly what you say, right? So we always mm -hmm. say like community over competition, stuff like that. You know, we both, we both coach people. We both yeah. help people grow their businesses, yet we're friends. We share ideas with each other. We do all those things. Yeah. Um, I'll let some, something slip out that I actually haven't talked about yet. For us, you know, Michaels, we were able to partner with Michaels and my face is going to be on their spring line, not on the line, but like on the end cap. So it'll be like meet the maker 
and it'll be a video of me making a wreath with their supplies. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, but we still sell supplies, but it's to show like everyone has their own audience and <laughs> showing up to help each other serve their people better is going to make you look so much better. To so much so I, like I, I mean even just you're right like this video here today I could have been like uh oh Damon's teaching people how to do reels and I have this thing of you know teaching how to do reels I'm not going to let anyone know that Damon's the one who sent me that link or right. you could have been like I'm not sending you the link you know yeah. there's all kinds of stuff with that I also this the Michaels thing just reminded me do you know Drew Emborski do you know who that is the crochet dude uh his name sounds really familiar <laughs> okay I I don't know um like what he's doing business wise right now, but he used to have a whole, I think he probably still does a whole line at Michael's. He's a good friend. And oh, yeah. um, he's also, his partner died last year and it just has been like a really a rough time for him. And he's been sharing really um, like honestly about what he's been going through, but I think he would probably love your community so much. And he's just like the coolest yeah. person ever. And I met him at a crochet event like a million years ago. And um, I have to I find won, him. I won some, some, um, I won like carpal tunnel gloves. <laughs> and when I won, I did a high kick cause I was on my way up. So I was definitely still extra then that was like in 2013, but he's just, he's one of the coolest people. I'd, I'd love to connect you guys. Yeah, um, for sure. Connect us. Amazing. When is this going to be in Michael's? Well, it was supposed to be out already, but because of all of the shipping issues, it'll be rolling out towards the end of this month. And, you know, we went back to Michael's and I said, hey, you guys know, like, we're going to, we can hype this up. Like, I can tell my audience, go take a selfie with Damon, like, to make them go find your products. We were trying to help them. Like, yeah, I've seen your, I've seen your displays. If you really want to sell this stuff, we need to put this here, this here. We need to get some wreath making tools and put them with it. Like, build the whole display. Like, so we were helping our competition yeah. serve our people. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Uh, I love it. Amazing. So, Practice what you preach. Yeah, absolutely. So true. So true. All right. This has been so awesome. Yes. I'm so grateful yes. for you. And I can't wait till we can hang out in person. Are you going to go to Social Media Marketing World? You We're know, gonna I already try. answered that. We're going to okay. try. <laughs> All right. We hope you get there. We go find your booth. I know. We're going to, we have like this, hopefully, all this stuff will actually get in the building. Who knows? It may just be me and an empty shelf. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be the best shelf, though. It will be for sure. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you so much. And if you are, I see some people commenting with the remind thing. So just remember if it's not, it's remind me all one word. If you're on my Facebook page, if you're somewhere else, it's just, you're just speaking to the banana phone and maybe a reminder will come out of the sky. I don't know, but <laughs> we can, I'll go put that link in the chat and my stuff so we can at least find okay. it. I, mean, I just feel all bad right. that it's not, it's not telling the truth. Cause I said, comment this. And then now Damon has 75 million comments to reply to, which he's not going to do. So I'm going to tell you, he's not going to. What I may do y'all is go set it up in community and you can text me the word and it'll just send it to you. Uh, perfect. So <laughs> um, that again, reminds me, go text the word W I -M, I M P P. Right there. And then yep. um, you'll be able to get access to this. What is my perfect person thing? I'm going to go text it as soon yes. as we're done. Also, now that I've turned right. my phone back on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for being here. As always, uh, it was so good to get to know all of you. Those of you that are from Damon's community. I am a secret crafter at heart. My husband knows our garage is filled with yarn and fiber and giant boxes of wool. It makes me so happy. So I'm just, I'm so grateful for all of you. Thanks so much for spending time with us. And as always, it's my absolute pleasure to help you to unlock your inner awesome and elevate it so that you can turn your message into a movement. And now we can have a dance party.